All right, so for today, for art class, we're gonna use some lines. We're continuing to talk about lines for our, um, for our element of art. And I have made a bunch of paper lines. I cut up some good old construction paper into strips of colored paper. Some are fat lines, some are thin lines, some are different colors, and we're gonna use those lines to create a three-dimensional playground. So we're going to manipulate paper. This is a good paper craft manipulating skill. So some things that you can work with with your kids is making a little fan fold, zigzag lines out of the paper. This could be like the steps on a slide. It could be anything. It could even be like an amusement park that they create on their little sheet of paper. So they each have a paper here and then they can create little pieces and glue them on and make them pop off their paper to create a little amusement park. So another thing that we can do is they can curl the paper. Use either a glue stick or a pencil and curl around that paper to create a curly line or they can um, they can make lines that go up and down and waves. Also, other things that they can do that aren't necessarily with just the lines is they can make cones out of their paper. If you have older kids, you want to challenge them to make some three-dimensional shapes to add to their um, playgrounds or amusement parks, whatever you choose to make. So one of those shapes that would be good for them to work with is a cone shape. So you start with a circle and you cut like a piece of pie out of that circle. Now we have a Pac-Man, but in order to make him a cone shape, we are going to close his mouth. And then that creates a cone. I'm just gonna use a little tape for the sake of time. But I usually make my kids use glue. And there we have it. So again, this was a little a circle with a little Pac-Man uh, piece of pie cut out. We overlap one side onto the other overlap to create a cone. This little cone can go on our playground somewhere. Um, we can make a, what is it called when I do this? What's this called, Bear? A uh, cylinder. A cylinder. We can make a cylinder to go on our playground which could be anywhere from like a tunnel for little things to go through. It could be something that stands up on our playground or amusement park. Other things that are good for manipulating th uh, to add to things is fringes. You might want to have some grass around your park or any kind of like maybe like make it look like a fence fringe. So when I make fringes, I will cut the ends like that, and if I want to make it stand up, I'm going to fold it over, and then I can glue it and it will stand up like that. We'll have a little fringe on our park, a little grass. Sometimes too, if it's grass, I like to give it a little crinkle. Make it crinkly here. And then that looks like grass to me. And I can put little fringes around my edges of my park to make grass. Things like that. So we have the cone, the cylinder, the uh, fringe cut, and we have the fan fold that you can make. We have curls you can make. I'm going to grab a pencil again. <laughs> and we can make a curl. All these things we're going to use to make a three-dimensional amusement park or just like a, a playground park of your choice. You can make your paper as big as you want or as small as you want. Right now the boys have uh, like a 9 by 12 sheet of paper that they're starting with. If it gets too big, then they can, uh, they can add more to their paper. And then we got glue and scissors. And I usually try to let them make them use glue first before I give them tape. But that's our job today. We're making 3D parks. Mm -hmm.